Alright guys, uh, I'm going to start plasma cutting. Welcome back to the channel, Project Crack Pipe. I'm going to start plasma cutting these hangers, uh, shock hangers, uh, leaf spring brackets. I'm going to start plasma cutting all this off, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably do all that and then speed it all up and then uh, show you guys after. I will have to grind everything, so uh, thanks for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Give me a like. And thank you guys. So I'm going to start plasma cutting. Alright guys, got them all plasma cut it off, <clears throat> dug through a little bit in the axle right there, <clears throat> but if I remember right, <clears throat> I think these tubes are like 3 8 inch thick, so, and then I gouged it just a little bit right there, so I'm going to get a respirator on and get a grinder and I'm going to start grinding all this junk down and then, uh, I don't know, thinking on gouging this, but I might have to get a grinder and grind all this side, so, um, yeah, let me do that real quick. Let me get the grinder out. I'm going to get a corded grinder out. I'm not going to mess with changing batteries every 
five minutes. So, um, yeah, let me uh, do that. Oh, by the way, wear safety glasses. These are shade fives. So, anyway, all right, I will, uh, let me get the grinder and everything set up and I'll get you guys set back up out there.
Well, I don't know how much that recorded, but man, that was a lot. Oh, jeez. Sure, I'm glad I'm wearing a respirator. Definitely wear a respirator, eye protection, whatever you can. So, respirator, safety glasses, and hearing protection, and some gloves. But, as you can see, pretty much all done. Um, I'm going to have to weld this. I kind of want to weld all these. Those are all hell gouges from the plasma. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, weld all those. That one's pretty deep. Doesn't look like it went into the tube. But, I'm going to run some beads over there. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then I gotta grind all this side. That gouge looks a lot deeper. Um, but once you grind it, it really doesn't look that deep. Um, or it's actually not that deep, I should say. So, I'm gonna grab this axle and move it over that way, so... I don't think I need to, uh, show you guys on video me grinding this side. So, I'm not. I'm going to go put the camera up, let it cool down for a little bit, and uh, grab a new disc. That was one brand new disc. Um, and that took forever. So, I have like five or six brand new discs. That want to go wherever they want to go. So, anyways, um, yeah, let me uh, grind this other side. Uh, I'm going to weld. I'm going to weld the things and then grind them again and then probably use a flap disc uh, to finish grinding. So I'll be right back. Right, what a mess. What a mess. What a mess. Anyway, uh, ended up uh, making all those holes. One of these was actually all the way through the tube uh, on this side. Um. So I had to weld it, weld it, weld it, build it up a couple times. This side's all good. Just some pits from uh, when I was grinding, trying to get different angles because it's kind of tight in there. And uh, I screwed up. <laughs> I attached this to the cart. I shouldn't have um, because now I can't utilize. Well. I'm pretty much an idiot regardless because I could have just taken the welder off the cart and moved it because I have cable and it would have been the same but anyway um yeah that's it for that uh, <sighs> messy so now I gotta try I gotta take a cutoff wheel and uh, try to cut all this off and uh, because of this arch here because it arches up so high. I'm thinking about making a drop down. Because you kind of want the bottom bar. Sorry for the wind guys. You kind of want the bottom bar parallel. Um, you want the bottom bar parallel. And then you want the top bar kind of coming at an angle. You kind of want it like this on the rear end. You know, like this. <laughs> um, the way that these are set up. I'll show you real quick. So these aren't much adjustments on them, obviously, because there's no extra holes. They kind of are what they are. Um, but yeah, you want this bottom one here. You want that bottom one parallel with the truck at right height. And then this one, um, you kind of want it tapered down. Ow! That hurt! Who put that there? <laughs> Man, that was sharp. Anyway.
I always hurt myself. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the get a couple cutoff wheels. Wear some more. You gotta you gotta wear your hearing and respirator, man. Um, I didn't for one grind, and uh, yeah, was, my nose is blowing black stuff out my nose. So anyway, let me get a cutoff wheel and uh, go from there. And I gotta check my arm, see if I'm bleeding. But you guys know I'm a big baby. I guess uh, I'll be right back. Let me uh, cut all that off and grind that up, and we'll start figuring out some templates, probably. <laughs> 